All right, what's up? I'm here today uh, at Fells Planetarium in the Franklin Institute in beautiful Philadelphia. And I'm gonna talk about a bit about how we set up for a planetarium. All this stuff here, how does my setup, which is this right here, how does this end up over there? All right, so uh, let's get into it. All right, so we can see my setup here, right? I got my cameras, video mixer, uh, monitor, liquids, computer, controller, all that, and it is going up here. So how's that happening? The easiest way to understand this would be that everything that you see here is funneling into this computer. Now this computer is running a VJ software known as Resolume. It allows me to put different clips up, select different cameras, add effects to it, and blend it all together. So I can blend this stuff if I want to with other clips that I have, right? I can also blend my live cameras. And we're gonna talk about that in a second, but back to the technology, how does all this end up over here? Well, this computer, everything again funnels into here, goes to this computer, goes out through a single HDMI cable. HDMI cable is going up here into the consoles. So let's go back there and check it out. Now, what this is over here, this is the control booth for the planetarium. When they do their space shows, when they uh, run sound and do all their presentations, this is where they sit. This also controls the lights uh, for the dome. It also um, does sound and all that. And then this is their software. So this cable that I showed you, right, plugs into somewhere. There's, uh, there's a box, runs into the computer, shows up on the screen, right? And then they, through their computer magic, send it up there. Now this, by the way, this is their software. This is how they control their space shows. This is where they, uh, you know, run the space shows from control to lights, put up different clips. This is how they fly through the universe. Now this computer, right? This is just a screen. The actual computer is back here. So let's go back to the server room and let's take, take a look at the computer, All right? So this, all of this stuff right here, this is what runs the show. This, these are different video servers, uh, video distribution, power, all of that stuff. And this is the brains. This also has the audio on there. And what this does, takes the video that was coming from out into there, goes into here. It's all networked and it goes up and out via cables, goes all the way up into the sky somewhere, goes out, 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 and it goes here. Now, what this is, even though it looks like one image, it's actually several projectors together. So you have several projectors here, which are video mapping the dome. Let's see if we can take a look at one of the projectors. Right, so you see a projector over here, this is one of, I believe, five. So we have one, two, three, four. Just four, I think there's more, but anyway, yeah, I think there's one right over here as well. Yep, and there should be another one hidden somewhere else. Anyway, these five projectors work in unison, in tandem to fill this. Now, how does that happen? That computer that I showed you in the back that does the video mapping and they overlay all these different projections. They cut out different slices of it. They blend them together and that's how that happens. All right, so a lot of computer magic, a lot of technology happening here, but in order to do a modern light show like this and to get a flat image seamlessly onto the dome, we use all that. Now let's get back here to my station. Let's get back to Liquid Light Lab land. Now, Liquid Light Lab land sends them this feed over there. Now, what I have here is a bunch of clips. This is my clip here. Now, it's not fundamentally different than a regular flat 
uh, 2D clip. But what I have is I cut it out as a circle, right? Because you have a circle. And then I also added a fisheye lens effect to it. So if you look at this, it's slightly domed. And the reason for that is because this image, if you were to project it flat, would look warped because the geometry of the dome itself uh, is not really, it's not flat, right? It's, it's wider down here than it is up there for the image. So what you have to do is you have to do a bulge and you have to stretch it, right? So you stretch it and uh, put it all around and that's how you get that. Now with my different clips, as I mentioned, I can select them, I can blend them, put them on the screen. And I can also add cameras. So I have an option for different cameras. In this case though, everything that you see here, everything, these cameras, one, two, three, this is coming out into the video mixer. So I have wire here, from here to here, from here to there. And I have this one cable out here, runs out into a box here. This is a video capture device. HDMI turns it into USB, USB 3. USB 3 is a cable, runs into here. You can't really see it right now. Let me see if I can get some more light on the dome. Yeah, anyway, there's a USB there. And that is what is being read as one of the camera feeds, right? And so what happens now? What's going into the mixer? What's happening? Well, I have one plate here. And let's see if I can get that up on the dome. All right, I'm going to... That's an effect on there. And, this, and they also have... Um, uh, the planetarium itself has uh, an Earth up in the sky right now. We're gonna be blending them together for a little show that I'm doing. But for now, that's, I have this here on this camera, all right? So I'm doing this with one hand. Obviously it's a little difficult, but that is what's happening there, all right? Now I have this other uh, camera over here and it's showing this plate. This is again, a liquid plate. And let me switch it over. All right. And on this one here, I got some different colors uh, cycling on my LED uh, turntable. It's also spinning. And all of this that you see over here is showing up on the dome. See that? All right. Let me get, let me change the colors. All right. So you get some slow cycling of colors, all right? And so I can blend these two together. I can mix them. All right, I can mix them. I can also, if I want to, uh, do a luma key effect where this is gonna punch out all the black of this one and underneath show this. Or if I want to, I also have this camera over here now, this is my confidence monitor. This is a second output that's running out of here. And this basically allows me to see what's going up onto the screen. Actually, this shows me what's going into here, into the computer, before it gets there, right? But I also have it set up with a camera. And so what I can do is if I select this, all right, I can make a video feedback loop. What I have is this, this camera and this video screen are inherently linked together. How's this working? Well, this is going out to here, being picked up into the camera, back into the video mixer, being blended with this over here, and then going back to the screen. So it's like a mirror looking at a mirror. All right, so you got a mirror looking at a mirror type of thing going on, and that's how this goes to it. So this is something I've been using for the show. Last night I did a big uh, dance show last night. It was a big party in here. These chairs weren't here. Uh, yeah, and it was wild. And so yeah, it was a lot of fun mixing all of this stuff together. Um, 
yeah so i don't know if there's any other questions feel free to write me comment all of that um and yeah i'll see you on the flip side